Good evening, everybody. This is Tanetta with Tea Time for, with Tanetta. I'm like a day or two late, actually, because over the weekend I had a fun weekend with my goddaughter. We went to the lake and all that kind of stuff, and I forgot to do it last night, so I'm bringing it to you th this evening. Um, this evening, actually, I'm actually um, going to be talking about something somebody a uh, messaged me about, actually, and I wanted to make sure that I gave the person an answer. I did try to, of course, reach, up, reach back out to the person. They didn't really answer or, or reply to me, at the, I guess, as of last week or, or as of today. So I just kind of wanted to reply to the person, of course, on video, just in case this uh, message can help others, of course, who are looking to share their story and don't know how or might be afraid to do so. Um, the person was asking basically how um, that they're, of course, scared to tell their story. They're scared to, of course let people in on, on, on what's going on with them or what happened to them and, and to speak their truth. And, you know, um, this was hard for me as well at first. I wasn't the kind of person that, of course, was... I, I actually wasn't even doing these, these videos and maybe like a year and a half ago, two years ago, that's when I started with Live Masters. But before that, no, I wasn't on video and I wasn't posting about my story. If it was about my story or my truth or that kind of thing, it was just something very basic and something very brief, I guess I'd say that. I didn't really go much into, into depth about what happened, what was going on, uh, my life story, anything along those lines at all. And I want to say um, thank you all for tuning in. I'm Avadon, Aubrey, Stephanie, and Rachel. Thank you all for tuning in this evening. And like I said, I didn't go into any kind of story on my page at all or any, or any of my written posts about what I had been through. I didn't even talk about it with my family and friends. I mean, some of my family, of course, may have seen what I've been through and that kind of thing or heard about it or friends heard about it or that kind of thing. But I wasn't the type to tell my story either. I guess I put it that way. And like I said, she, uh, the person was just asking about how can I, of course, thank you for get, well, telling me thank you for getting on video, telling my story and speaking my truth. But that person wanted to know how they can do it as well. And like I said, I want to do this video just to, I hope, encourage the person to, of course, um, start speaking their story. I guess it doesn't matter whether it's on video or if it's in written format or if you're an artist and you want to write or draw, draw pictures and tell your story that way. It doesn't really matter how you tell your story. You can, of course, vlog. You can uh, um, do a podcast, that kind of thing, where your face is not showing if you want to speak on it, that kind of thing, but just not show your face. You can do that. Um, there's all kind of ways and all kind of mediums <clears throat> Excuse me, that you can tell your story. Like I said, no, it's not easy to tell your story on video or actually any, or written any kind of way. Because um, I know a lot of people, I guess for me, I guess speaking for me and other people that I've known, of course, they're, of course, fear, fearful of telling their story out of fear of what like, other people would say, especially when it comes to, like, their, like, sexual abuse or domestic violence or rape or anything along those lines. Um, actually, just, I mean, anything, I guess, homelessness, drug usage, those kind of things. When it comes to those deep-seated um, issues and things that, that people have been through, like I said, it's very challenging to get on video or to, of course, write your story or to draw your story and post it, that kind of thing. It's very hard to do. And like I said, the main thing that for me I can say that that was hard, but the reason why it was hard at first was I was scared to, to I guess, to share my story out of fear of what, out of fear of what others may, may say about me or say about what I've been through or say about my story or that kind of thing. Like I said, that that's something I had to definitely get over. I guess I put it there, and I'm over it now, but... Like I said, it did take me a little while to, of course, get over that. And that is something that we all, of course, fear at some point. Fear of what others may think. And I know that everybody, of course, like I said, faces that and everybody goes through that. But at some point, we have to realize that we're the ones, of course, hurting. That, that's what I had to realize, that I was the one that was hurting. I was the one that was keeping all these secrets and they were just tearing me apart every single day. I was the one that had anger issues. I was the one that, that of course, got upset really quickly over the small things. And I was the one that, of course, could not express myself or couldn't um, speak appropriately when, when it came to, of course, telling my story or telling somebody how I felt, that kind of thing. And like I said, I was the one that was hurting very, very badly all the time. And like I said, I was suicidal at, 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 a, at, a, at a, a, a few times in my life, of course, as well. And like I said, I had to get to a point where I was sick and tired of holding all this stuff in just to please other people and just to, of course, keep other people at peace, I guess I put it that way. And like I said, whether it was my family or friends or coworkers or whoever, whoever it was that I was scared, scared to tell my story in front of, I went ahead and told my story anyway, whether they liked it or not or whether they wanted to listen or not or whether they even cared or not. 
like I said, I had to be the one to, of course, step through that fear and, 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 and do it anyway, I guess I put it that way, as far as telling my story, speaking my truth, and getting those things off my chest. And, of course, I feel a lot better now, I guess, of, of course, of doing that. And I just want to let that person know that, of course, if you're, <clears throat> you've been through some of those things and you're fearful, and actually anybody out there, and if you're fearful, of course, of telling your story and just just speaking what happened to you or speaking the lessons that you've learned or and just getting the courage to say those things, like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. Everybody goes through that. But like I said, as far as pushing through that fear, you hopefully at some point will, of course, push through that fear to, of course, go ahead and speak your story, tell your truth, that kind of thing, to, of course, clear your mind. Like I said, that's the main thing that it did for me was just to free me. I guess I put it that way. Free me from all the bondage that was holding me back as far as all the, like I said, the sexual abuse and the domestic violence and all these things that I've either been through or seen just holding me back. And like I said, that I was stunning my own growth. And I had to come to a point where I had to realize that, that I was stunning my own growth and that there was no need for me to, of course, continue to be, I was, what, 41 years old because this happened last year. So, I mean, just, just recently. So, like I said, I had to push through all that and realize that my sanity, my peace was 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 way more important than than whatever whatever every everybody else would think about my story or or me telling my secrets or that kind of thing. Like I said, that that's something that I know a lot of us go through as far as fearing what others think about us. Like I said, you have to do what you got to do. I guess I put it that way. And Aubrey said yes, and breathing help. Um, breathing helps along the way, and breathing definitely does. And that's meditation. I had to learn how to meditate how to breathe how to slow myself down how to do all those things like i said i know i had to go through that a lot of us have to go through that as well and the breathing does definitely help and speaking about slowing myself down and all those kind of things and i know i mentioned it in a few other videos as well because i know sometimes we of course are scared to to i guess if you're wanting to do a video or that kind of thing and are scared to of course get on the vlog or whatever it is um, to of course show my face and speaking on the video or, do, or doing a podcast and of course back in the day back when I was growing up I was one that, that stuttered a lot all the time and certain words I just couldn't get out I couldn't enunci enunciate the words I have problems now I guess I put it that way but I couldn't enunciate the words and those kind of things to get the words out and like I said I was of course made fun of and said that I was a liar or I was lying all the time because I stuttered and which those are stupid stigmas that people have about folks that stutter. Usually that's just a, um, a stigmatism that they have and they just can't enunciate the words and their brain is kind of thinking faster than, than what they're saying. I guess in my case is what it was. And like I said, I had to push through all that fear as well, getting up in front of others and hoping that I would not stutter and or that I wouldn't look crazy on video or that my hair would look right or that I don't know, my teeth look right or whatever the case may be. Like I said, we have to get over all those things and dealing with ourselves as well and loving on ourselves enough to know that no matter how we look, no matter what we have on, no matter what our hair may look like, no matter how our voice may sound, that we still have a voice and that we still can make an impact in this world and, and, and with ourselves in the communities that we're in as well. Like I said, there's a lot of fears that we have, I guess, uh, with all this as far as telling our story and speaking our truth and, and being comfortable in doing so because the person was saying that, of course, they freeze up and they can't, of course, press the, the start button or they can't, of course, um, they, they'll write the post and they can't, of course, press the post button in order to, of course, put their story out there. And like I said, those were some of the things that I thought as well as far as how it would even look on the video or how it would even sound or whether I start stuttering, whether folks would think I was dumb or um, whatever the other, the, the, uh, the things that, that, that the kids said back in the day, I was dumb or that I didn't know how to talk or that I was lying or whichever the case may have been. But like I said, I had to get over all that stuff. Yes, I had to train myself a lot, of course, to speak and slow myself down and have to enunciate the words and all those kind of things as well. Like I said, if there's something about yourself that you have an issue with or your weight or whatever it is, you can always take care of those things. But like I said, as far as you, of course, telling your story and speaking your truth, hopefully it won't continue to have an impact on, on you pushing forward and growing to your, I guess, to your des I guess to like your next destination or wherever you're going to. Like I said, those those were some of the things that I, of course, had to deal with as well. And just to let you all out there, whoever's listening, know that, of course, if you're wanting to, of course, tell your story and and to, to, to let others in on your world and to, of course, to help inspire others, like I said, those are some of the things you're going to have to go through as far as wondering what other folks are going to, um, I guess, think about your story or wondering how you look on video, do you even look right or that kind of thing. And 
another thing that I had to think about as far as telling my story, I guess the reasons why I wouldn't tell my story. I know that all the fears that I had don't even hold up now, I guess I put it that way, because there is no reason why I cannot do so. And I have, of course, been doing so since last year. But as far as me working, I, I, I've been working with the elderly and the disabled for the past, actually, almost like almost two and a half years now. Has it been two and a half years? Yeah, it has been two and a half years. Well, actually, yeah, it is two and a half years now. Um, working with the seniors and disabled and that kind of thing and me talking to them a lot, of course, letting me know that what I'm doing right now as far as telling my story and trying to inspire others to, of course, tell those as well. Like I said, speaking with those kind of people make you realize whether you want to volunteer with them or you work with them or you have kids in foster care that you're working with, whoever you're working with, the homeless, that kind of thing. It really makes you appreciate life. It really makes you think about all those things that people, I guess, like I said, the elderly or the homeless people or the disabled, those who, of course, we take, well, those kind of things that we sometimes take for granted. Of course, like I said, they're always telling me about their regrets and what they wish they could have, would have, should have done back in the day and how they had, I guess, allowed that fear to hold them back. And they're in their 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 100, or, and some are actually young, actually 20, 30 years old, that are wheelchair bound or that are bed bound, that kind of thing. Just, of course, telling me their story as well about how they wish they would have, take, I guess, taken those leaps and bounds and actually got out there and started that business or, or told their story or actually got up on that stage to speak or started, I guess, doing skydiving or whatever it was that they wanted to do instead of having fear and all that kind of stuff hold them back. And like I said, I hear that a lot because I visit with my clients a lot. So I hear that just about on a daily basis as far as how they regret the things that they should have done back in the day when they were able-bodied to do it. And I'm here to tell you the same thing and the same thing I'm telling that person as well. You don't want to get up until you're 60, 70, I don't know how old you are, but um, I guess any, I guess 10, 15, 20 years from now and be singing the same story saying, I wish I would have done this back um, 20 years ago or 10 years ago or five years ago. Like I said, you have to take it with take the whatever you're trying to do and just run with it like i said nobody's going to be a genius when they first get on video i know i was nervous as hell when i first did my first video on live masters scared to hold i kept the phone in my hand scared to look at the camera i'm looking off to the side and all kind of things and i'm sure i did stutter on that video as well i'm pretty sure i did because i was so nervous and like i said nobody's a genius when they first start doing videos or once they first start um doing a podcast about their story or once they start posting about their story, that kind of thing at all. And of course, with time, you'll get better. And like I said, just, 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 just knowing that is, it's just, I mean, that, that's actually good in anybody's business, no matter what you're doing. If that's your goal, if that's what you want to do, go ahead and start doing that. You don't have to hold, continue to hold yourself back. Like I said, what I've learned and from me holding myself back the last 41 years, I'm 42 now. So like I said, the last 42, four, I guess 41 years, me holding myself back from telling my story and speaking my truth and trying to get my story out there, it was more for me than anybody else. Cause like I said, I was suffering. I was suffering at times, <clears throat> depressed, wanting to kill myself at times and wanting to just beat people up and wanting to kill somebody or get mad at somebody and angry at somebody else and didn't love this person i hated you and all these kind of things going on and like i said i realized that i was hurting myself more than anybody else and like i said that's where i had to stop not not i guess not speaking and not and not speaking enough for myself not telling my story and not speaking my truth like i said those things were hurting me i don't care about the other people of course i know some of the stuff i've told of course it's family secrets or things that happen in families where your family say you shouldn't tell this and a generational curses whatever you want to call it like i said i had to take it upon myself to be the i'm the only one that i know of in my family um, on both sides that, that that's actually speaking about these kind of things like i said i'm not going to continue to sit there and hold myself back and to, and to not speak on these things and sit up and hurt myself, I guess I put it that way, like I had been doing and was doing in the past. Like I said, I hope that, that the person will see this video. I'm not going to tag them in the video, but hopefully they will see this video to, of course, get some nuggets from here, I guess I would say that, and hopefully learn something from here, I guess I put it that way, that they can use in, in order to, of course, tell their story and, and speak their truth. And, of course, if once the person listens to this video of you, of course, needs to reach back out to me, and hopefully you, you reply this time and get, and get the courage to reply this time, and I hope that you do, because, like I said, I can definitely help you through that. I mean, I don't mind doing that at all, so, so definitely reach back out to me. And that goes for anybody that's watching this video. I really don't care if you reach out to me or not, but, but like I said, specifically for that, for that person, that's struggling and trying to tell their story. I know that person is hurting as well, cause that's what, cause that that, that that's what she, um, 
that's what the person put into the message as well. So like I said, hopefully that person will, of course, reach back out and get the courage to, of course, let me know what's going on so I can best help them. I guess I put it that way. And like I said, for anybody that's listening to this and that's having a hard time telling their story, speaking the truth, like I said, there's all kinds of ways that you can do so. You don't have, I chose to do it on video form and I do it, um, I, I love to write, that's, that's my passion as well. So I love to write, so I'm constantly writing, and my posts are like a page long and that kind of thing, but I love writing. Like I said, I don't do that every single day, but uh, several times a week. I will post like a long post and express myself that way as well. Like I said, you can do it either video like this, or you can do a podcast, or you can do it writing. I guess if you're a creative writer, you can do it in poetry form. It doesn't matter what kind of form you do it in. Like I said before, if, you want to, if you're an artist and you like to, like to draw or you like to paint, you can always paint your feelings and do those kind of things as well. You, or you play music, you want to put it all in music and you write music and, and those kind of things. Like I said, you can always leave all that on the paper or I guess on your instrument or on your voice or that kind of thing. Whatever your medium is, go ahead and use that medium. Like I said, you don't have to hold yourself back because if you are scared of what others are going to say. Yes, I got some backlash from my family as well and from my friends as well. That, that was around me about me saying certain things or I shouldn't have said this about my parents or I shouldn't have said that. Or like I told them, I don't care what you have. I guess what you, I mean, I, I, do, I do respect everything. They're, everybody tells me I, I, I do respect that. But like I told them, I'm telling my story. I don't care if you want to hear it or not. If you don't want to hear it, you can just click off or scroll down or whatever the case may be or, or not even talk to me anymore, I guess, family or not. And like I said, that's just me. I mean, I know everybody's not that kind of person as I am. I guess I put it that way and, and, don't, and can't advocate for themselves as well. But there's always ways that you can, of course, let your family know. I guess in a nicer way, I, I didn't put it as nice when I said it, but I mean, there's always ways that you can say things like that to, of course, let your family and friends know that you respect what they say, but you're going to speak your story and tell your truth anyway. Like I said, you will get backlash. I can tell you that already. You may get backlash from those you, 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 you don't even know and who are just on social media just saying that you're dumb or you're stupid or you're telling too much of your business or that kind of thing. But if that's what you're wanting to do, you cannot let that hold you back either. Like I said, I hope that this video reaches at least that one person that, of course, asked that question and, and that messaged me last week about this as far as how do they, of course, tell their story, speak their truth, and not be so 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 scared to do it so so like i said i hope that it really does reach that person i'm trying to see if there's anything else that i have so i put like a little sticky note trying to see if there's anything else so i guess that's actually it um like i said for those who um join on this video and i will of course reply to comments later on before i go to bed or actually in the middle of the night probably i put it that way because that's what i did last night but um avidon i want to thank you again for tuning in aubrey stephanie rachel lamar um, Michelle, let me see, Lucian, I want to thank you all for tuning in this evening. And like I said, I will reply to you all's um, comments later on this evening or overnight. But like I said, I hope that this video will at least reach one person. The person that, of course, reached out to me, hopefully that this person sees the video. <clears throat> if not, of course, I hope it reaches at least one other person tonight or, or tomorrow, whenever they view this video. And like I said, again, I want to thank you all for tuning in this evening. And for those who watch the replay, do enjoy. And everybody have a great evening. And I love you all. Take care.